And as we continue, of course, to recognize ALS Awareness Month was in May, recognizing Lou Gehrig Day as we open up June, and a chance for the Orioles now to celebrate and recognize ALS awareness while they come home. Really, really great afternoon today to be joined by Brooke Eby. You can find her as Limpuskit on TikTok and Instagram. And Brooke, really, the thing that took me away about you was telling your story, and you said, I think I was meant to have ALS. What has this been like for you to really grow your story? Yeah, I think when it comes to ALS, by the way, I love how you said limp bruise kit. Like, I can barely pronounce it, so I, I'm really impressed. Um, I saw, you know, some of these other diseases like cancer and MS have survivors that can go out and advocate for it, but with ALS, you die, you know, they say two to five years on average after being diagnosed, but that's an average. A lot of people only last a few months. And so we don't really have a lot of time with these people to, for them to become advocates. Um, so for me, I just decided I'm gonna start sharing my story and hopefully more people will learn just a tiny bit more about ALS. I think the baseball world is a huge supporter of ALS, thanks to Lou Gehrig, but outside of this community, I don't think ALS is very well known. You decided at a friend's wedding that you were going to bring a lot of joy to what's been called a hopeless disease. Where do you find that joy? Who brings that for you? I have never been able to take anything seriously. Like it's, it's been my fatal flaw in every work and school situation for the last 34 years. Um, but yeah, I went to a wedding. I was using a walker and that was one of the first times where I was entirely insecure. I was so nervous. And my best friend was like, screw it, let's just have fun. And so we were doing like the limbo under my walker. I was giving walker rides all over the dance floor. And so I think all of my friends and family have been really supportive about my approach to this. So we just decided we're gonna laugh at it as opposed to, you know, wallow away. Have you rebuilt the runway for your life since you found out? I don't really think about the future that much, which I think is probably just a coping mechanism of my brain saying, you know, you don't know how much longer you have and that's for everyone, right? But I think for me, it's just been living in the present as cheesy as that sounds. I really do think that I've been able to almost be happier in the last year because I can see what's important and what I need to focus on. When you look out at everybody who's been so supportive, how hard is it to pick a charity and which one are you working with right now? It is so hard. There are so many great ALS organizations and all of them do different things. There are some organizations that focus on care, so strictly patient care. And then there are some that focus more on research and finding a cure. Um, for this year, for uh, ALS Awareness Month, I decided to go with a research organization called ALS TDI. They're based out of Boston. It's a really great research laboratory. And I sort of just had to judge, you know, which one I wanted to focus on this year. But again, so many great organizations. There are so many. We are so thrilled to have you here to raise awareness for this, to raise more money for these organizations. You have been killing it as of lately. Again, this is Brooke Eby. Make sure you follow her on TikTok and Instagram at Limp Buscuit. We are going to make sure that today is another great day for you. We're going to squeeze all the joy out of this one. Thank you so much for having me. This is awesome.